Okay, in this demonstration, I am going to be printing on a jelly plate and I'm gonna cover the basics. And the goal is to make uh, a series of pattern papers that later we are going to use uh, in a mixed media collage. And the printing setup is kind of important. Um, you can put your jelly plate on a cookie sheet if you want, so you can contain some of the mess. I've got it on a silicone baking mat here. Um, and then I've got all my papers ready to go. But as you start printing, you're going to generate a lot of material. So either that's going to go on the floor or um, you could set up a clothesline somewhere, something to think about. All right. So what I like about the jelly plate is that um, I can use acrylic paint and I like to use uh, golden open because it has a it's called a retarder in it like it it slows the drying time if you don't have that I'm going to recommend a bottle of the retarder and I'll get into that in a minute I think it's actually a cheaper way to go you're going to need your hard printing brayer and when I start I put out uh what is that it's about a quarter, no, it's probably more like a half a teaspoon, okay? And of course I picked a brayer that's not wanting to roll. Uh, okay, there we go, got it going. Okay, so you're gonna roll your ink out and I go back and forth over the whole surface. Um, because I want to get it on there evenly. So if you've got like big blobbers, it's going to show up as a big blob. And if that's what you want, that's fine. But I'm going to show you how to get your ink on there evenly. So I went back and forth. And what you're looking for, let's see if I can show you. So I call them little tacky marks on there. It, it should look they should look even and uniform, kind of like um, an ocean on a calm day. Okay, so I've got my ink rolled on there. And then I'm gonna show you what you can do printing textures. And this kind of encourages you to go um, on a scavenger hunt around your house. I'm gonna use this lace, okay? Or you could go to a thrift store. So I'm gonna put the lace down. Okay, pressing down. And then I am using um, Japanese rice paper, which isn't really rice, it's mulberry. It's got a smooth side and it's got a rough side. So as you work with this, you'll develop probably a preference. I'm gonna pull my first print on the smooth side, just rubbing with my hand. Okay, there is my lace, okay? Then there's still enough ink on there that I can get what's called a ghost print. I'm gonna print it on the rough side now. I often like the ghost print better. It's a little bit more subtle. Okay, um, now I'm going to use regular acrylic paint and I'm gonna add, show you how to add some of that um, retarding agent. And I'm not being fussy about like cleaning this whole plate off. Uh, I'm just going to let the paint mix. Okay, so I think this retarder, which is on my materials list, um, you need 
hardly any, like a little drop, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is mix that with my palette knife. This really is a cheaper way to go because you don't have to buy a whole new set of paints, okay? Now, if you don't have golden acrylic tonight, if you don't have the retarder, that's okay. Just go ahead anyway. But because it's you know so warm, depending on where you are, it will dry more rapidly. Um, although I tested this on the holidays, it was like 95 degrees and it, it worked. Okay. Okay, I'm going to double up here with, here's another thing I found at the thrift store. It was some sort of um, like quilt or something. Okay, so I'm going to do part of this and part of something else, two for one. Okay, now because it's fabric, the paint is going to go on the fabric and I'm going to save that because I could use that in my mixed media. This is a sushi mat. I've used this before, I really like it. Ooh, nice. Okay, so here's my fabric that now has paint on it. I'm gonna save that. That might become part of a painting. And this one, I can already tell it's hot out here. This may not work as well. I may need to add more of that retarding agent to slow the dry time. It's gonna work. Okay, here's what I got, okay? So what we're doing tonight is just exploring, getting comfortable with the jelly plate but making a series of textured papers that we will um, use in our future works of art. Okay, and back to the open acrylic. I'm gonna use up this burnt sienna that I've got. Again, I'm not being fussy. I'm just letting these colors mix. Okay, um, here's some interesting netting that somebody gave me. I think it was from a floral arrangement. You can also buy stencils. We can also make our own stencils. We've done it in class out of cut paper. I'm putting three in here. Now, the, the holes, the openings are big enough that I am just gonna put my paper right on top of that. And that paper is transparent enough, I can see the ink going through. Let's see what I got. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I like how the colors blend it, right? So there's an element of chance here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna put another piece of paper and get the ghost.
there's my ghost, more subtle, kind of like it better, right? All right, um, I'm gonna do some more with this. So you're kind of building up a stash or, um, yeah, a stash of different printed papers. Here, let's put some more of that in there. Okay, now your palette knife, I've shown this before. Um, it's not, it's pointy, this angled one, but it's not going to ruin your um, jelly plate. And because it's kind of springy. I can push down and lift up, push down, lift up, and I can create a line with some variation in width. You can also buy um, jelly plate like scrapers, or you could make your own with a credit card. There's one, let's see, what else have I got here? Uh, my scrub brush from the dollar store. So it's an exploration of, of marks. Okay, spray bottle of water. If I spritz on there, I'm gonna get little speckles. Okay, I'm gonna pull my print. And this time I'm going to pull it. I went to the 99 cent store and I got, you know, it's those for practicing cursive. I don't even know if the kids are doing cursive anymore. Okay, anyway. So it does not have to be on a pure white paper. Okay, we could have lines in it. Um, was helping my parents move recently and I came across my grandmother's cookbook. She had beautiful handwriting. You could use some of these papers with writing or book pages. And then the text shows through. Um, okay. I'm gonna do a darker one with some drops of paint now. Back to the Prussian blue. So I'm just trying to give you all kinds of ideas. Okay, so that's even. Now I'm gonna drop this uh, golden, what is this? High flow, I think. And it's iridescent gold. Just gonna put a few drops on there. Okay, then I'm gonna roll. Okay, beautiful. Let me see if I can get a little bit more off of that one using another recipe page. A little more subtle, pick up some more of the ink over here, here. Okay, then let's see. Um, you could directly paint on there. You don't want to roll 
things out. So I'm just going to use the paint, the leftover paint on my palette. I want to get some orange in there. And I'm moving too quickly right now to add the retarder. I'm going to skip it because I'm going to pull a print pretty quickly. OK, so I can go like that thicker. I can scratch in. Uh, what else can I do here? Just going to do a little portion of this because I want to get more ink on the bottom there. Okay, now I'm going to pull a print. I'm noticing I have a preference for the smooth side. Can't tell you why. Okay, that's what I got there. Still a little more paint. So let's see. Now I'm using the palette knife to get thicker globs of paint. Okay, some prints you might say, mm, I could use a little bit more going on there. So you can print it two, three, four times. And there's still more pain on there. Okay, so when you're done, you all you have to do is wash this in maybe a little bit of dish soap, warm water, pat it dry, put it back in its case. And, or I think Denise, once upon a time, you didn't clean it, you forgot. And uh, then the next print, it's still going to pull up whatever paint is left on the jelly plate. So you can't you can't really hurt it by not cleaning it. Okay, and I think that was a whole lot. So I think that's it. There's endless things you can do with it.